Hey guys, it's Derek Johnson with JVI Secret Gardens and on this episode of Garden Guides, we're going to talk about potting up aquatic plants. I'm filling in for Adam today. He's doing some other things, so I'm just going to step in and show you guys how this works. So check this out. When we're potting aquatic plants, it's very important to pick the right size pot. We like these because they're kind of collapsible fibrous pieces that's easy to work with. And the reason why we're doing this and we're putting it in a pot is because when you put it in your pond, it contains this and doesn't let it run. If you plant a water lily or other aquatics just in there, basically in the wild habitat, the roots will go everywhere. It'll take up a lot of pond space and it's actually a little bit hard to, to deal with. So that's the reason we actually put them in pots. And then next year, when you clean your pond and you take these out, you'll have little babies, you can transplant and you can have more plants. So check this out. This is how we're gonna pot this up. So we have Aquascape Potting Media, we have the plant we're going to use and we also have gravel so it's really simple it's very similar to how we would do any sort of terrestrial planting plant in the ground or put it in a pot really simple we're going to take this guy this one is actually called attraction really cool kind of pink hot pink color uh, blooms profusely you can see that media is very sandy kind of loamy it's heavy the reason we use this same reason we use the aquascape potting mix is it's heavy we don't want the stuff to float all over the pond when you put it in so we're going to take this guy out see that it's not root bound by no means but the roots are healthy so we're going to set him in here first and then we're just going to fill in and there is a pretty good gap between the bottom of the pot and this here and i'll explain why in just a minute so we take our potting media and we're going to fill in all around the edges and what this is doing just like if you're potting up anything else it's going to allow those roots to run and grow and thrive the difference between this being that sandy heavy potting soil versus what you would do for your normal pots is this actually stays stabilized the, the heaviness of it actually holds it down to the bottom of the pot or the bottom of the pond if you use other potting soils there's other things in there there's pine fines um, perlite there's uh, uh, other things that are very light material even though it's coarse it'll float all over your pond and make a mess this stays put so i'm going to work this all around now here's a little trick and i highly recommend you do this gravel big pieces of gravel, decorative gravel. Using the gravel is a way to keep the koi because koi are very busy. They don't have anything else to do. They're just hanging out in the pond, right? So they'll be very curious about this and they, they're constantly digging and foraging for things and food on the bottom of the pond. So if you put bigger pieces of gravel, it will help them from unpotting your potted plant when you put it in there. Basically, you're creating a barricade. And it also looks cool too when you put this gravel in here, because we always recommend what we call beneficial gravel to put on the bottom layer of your pond to allow microbes and enzymes and things to grow to help take nitrogen out of the water. This will actually decorate the top of the pot and match the bottom of your pond. So what I'm doing as well is I'm filling in that gap. Basically, I've left enough room in the pot to backfill with the gravel so that you just don't have this big void in there. My goal is to get enough gravel in here that it comes right to just the top of the, the, the container here. So I'm trying to be careful to not harm any of the, the lily here. So as I get through it, I'll actually start just kind of hand placing the gravel on the top of the pot. So as I'm filling this in, this is the perfect time to add your once a year fertilizer. We like this particular brand, it's the Aquascape uh, once a year fertilizer. It's an NPK of 13, 13, 13, so it's very consistent. The reason I like the once a year is whenever you're potting this up, you don't have to deal with it the rest of the year. So we want to use three to five scoops of this particular fertilizer. The reason it's three to five is because this pot is about a three gallon pot. And once you get to that three gallon range, it goes to three to five scoops. And the reason you definitely want to fertilize this guy is lilies are heavy, heavy feeders. They love fertilizer. And with aquatic plants, actually, they can become so efficient in a pond that they'll actually compromise themselves because they take all the nutrients out of the pond and they don't have a food source anymore. So it's important that you feed these guys so that they can thrive. And you want to kind of work this down into the gravel so that it doesn't float out. Kind of working it down into the media as well. And if you want, as you're putting this in, you can always drop some in the bottom of the pot before you put your actual plant in there. So the idea is you just want the fertilizer to get close to the root so that it has a quick way to use that food source. So now we're all potted up and here's something that I learned through trial and error and experience. You want to make sure that you wash the pot down before you put it in the pond because this gravel here, it actually has dust on it. The potting media itself needs to be wetted so it doesn't float at all. So it's a good idea. Just take, I'm just going to use a watering can here. <laughs> so just to be clear, I'm not watering the plant. I'm literally just washing off any debris and it'll flow out the bottom of the bag. 
Now, all we gotta do is set it in the pond. In this particular application, I'm gonna get in here, you know, ankle deep or whatever, so I can set it in the bottom of the pond there. It's pretty cool. These are actually gonna be on the surface already, but when you put in a lily in a two foot deep pond, your lily stems may be only that tall. It's fun to watch over a couple of days. They will literally naturally, the stems will just grow and the lily pads will go right across the surface of the water. Okay, now we're gonna talk about actually planting marginals. So that's a water lily goes on the bottom part of the pond. So now we're gonna talk about some things that can go around the edges of the pond. We have some smaller bags that we can use and it can go directly in here just like we showed you before. This is really simple. When you're not using that particular piece, and you can look at this guy, he is so ready to come out of this pot, he's ready to go in the pond. So we just take him, and those beautiful purple and white roots, that's awesome. So this guy, there's a little spot right down here in the pond where I can actually work him in there and it'll hold in place. We have to make sure that there's rocks around this guy, so the rocks is actually acting like, a, like an outcropping to hold this plant stable, because the koi in the bottom there, they're gonna be curious about this guy, so I need to set him in there safely so it just doesn't go afloat. So there you have it. That's how you pot up aquatic plants to get them in your pond to have a beautiful water garden. So if you like our videos, please just hit that like button. And then also in the comment section, ask some questions. Let us know what you're thinking. We'll be sure to answer those. And then also click that bell to get those notifications for new videos coming up. And make sure you share this video with your friends so they too can know how to pot up aquatic plants. So thanks again, Derek Johnson with JVI Secret Gardens for garden guides, filling in for Adam. See you guys on the next one.